Bonjour les amis! Today we are going to look at the imperative! It is imperative that you follow my orders with ER verbs. First of all, we are going to practice some ER verbs that you will have come across before. Some of them you will know, some of them you will recognize, and some of them may be new. What is regarder? To look, to look at, or to watch. Fermer. To close or to shut. Crier. And the slang for that is gueuler. To shout. Verser. To pour as in to pour a liquid or to transfer or pay money. Renverser. Got verser in there as well. To spill or to knock down. That can be to knock somebody down in a car as well. Gaspiller. Remember the gas and the pee and the bin? What do we put in the bin? To waste. Rouler. It means to roll or it's used a lot for to drive. Even as an informal greeting. They'll say, ça roule? How's it going? Rigoler. Think of a rigoletto. To giggle, laugh, have a joke. Plaisanter, blaguer. To joke. Taquiner. To tease. We've got some tic tacs. Imagine teasing somebody by throwing tic tacs at them. Louer. To rent, to hire. Deviner. To guess. Tricher. Think trick. It's to cheat. Entrer. To go in, to come in, to enter. Rentrer. To go back in. It's also used for to go home. Abuser de. It does mean to abuse, but it's used a lot in different senses in French. It means to take advantage of, to cross the line, to be unfair, or to overindulge, maybe in sweets, alcohol. Insister. It does mean to insist. We don't use it very much in English, but the French do. To insist, to keep trying to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Pleurer, and the slang is chialer. To cry. So shell is more like, stop your blubbering. Culpabiliser. Think of culpable. To feel guilty. Oublier. To forget. If you follow oublier by a verb, to forget to do something, you need to use de. Garder. It okay, looks like to guard, but it actually means to keep or to look after somebody's keeper. Allumer. To light or to switch on. You might remember that allumettes are matches. Gâté. Looks a bit like gâteau. Maybe you give too many of these to your grandchildren. To spoil. Gâté. Enfiler. Fil is a wire or a thread. It means to put on or to slip on or to thread, like to thread a needle. Garé. If you think of gare, the station where things are stationary, it means to park. You park your train at the gare. Accompagner. It does mean to accompany. And again, we don't use accompany very much, but the French do. It means to accompany, to walk with, to go with, to give a lift. Escort. Frapper. It means to hit, to strike or to knock at. Tacher. Tacher means to stain. There's also another tacher with a circumflex accent over the A. This means to try or to attempt. You can use it instead of essayer. It's used a lot in French. There you have somebody 
scoring a try. Quitte. To leave someone or somewhere. So, the imperative mood is known as the command form of a verb, which is why we have this sergeant major shouting commands out. But it doesn't have to be bossy. The imperative is also used for suggestions and giving advice. To form the imperative, you take the present tense of the tu, vous, nous conjugations. You drop the words tu, vous and nous, which are the subject pronouns. We do the same in English. For ER verbs only, only for the ER verbs, you drop the S for some weird reason. For the tu form, it doesn't happen with the IR and the RE verbs. For example, look, if you're addressing tu, is regarde, without the S, but in speaking. You can't hear the difference anyway, so who cares? If you're saying look to vous, regardez. If you're saying let's look, the imperative in English uses this strange let us, let's. That is just the nous form in French without the word nous. Regardons. So how do we say to close, to shut? Fermer. Close the door, please. Ferme la porte, s'il te plaît. Or, fermez la porte, if you're addressing vous, s'il vous plaît, rather than s'il te plaît, because it literally means if it pleases you. Shut your mouth, addressing tu. Ferme ta bouche. Or, more rudely, ferme ta gueule. Gueule is the word, it's like saying gob, it's not a very nice word, but you will hear it. <laughs> gueule is actually um, an animal's gullet, a mouth. Okay, so it's used in a derogatory way. A lot. To shout. Crier, and again you have this word gueule. Gueule features a lot in the French language. Don't shout so loudly. Ne crie, ne gueule pas si fort. Ne crier, ne gueule pas si fort. Gueule is when you're feeling angry. Let's shout louder. I've left the gully out here because it doesn't make that much sense. I've gone for criant plus fort. To pour or to pay or transfer money is verser. Imagine saying a verse about pouring wine, a very long poem about pouring wine, and then you really hope that people will transfer some money to you after your beautiful verse of poetry. How would you say using vous? Transfer the money into my account as soon as possible. Bank account, you have three different options here. Compte de banque, compte en banque and compte bancaire. Take your pick. I've even left it out because it's usually understood that you mean bank account when you talk about your account. Versez l'argent dans mon compte aussitôt que possible. Pour, using to, Pour water into his glass. Verse, they would say, some water. Verse de l'eau dans son verre. Pour on water, verse de l'eau. To spill or to knock down. Renverser. So you've got verser, then renverser. Don't spill the beer, addressing too. Ne renverse pas la bière. Let's not knock down the vase. Vase is masculine. It's the same word, but with a French accent. Ne renversons pas le vase. Now, there is a feminine vase, la vase. It is silt, the muddy stuff you find on riverbanks, for example. To waste. You've got your picture clue there. Gaspiller. Don't waste food or don't waste the food addressing too. Think of nourishment. Ne gaspille pas la nourriture. To roll, to drive. Rouler. Ça roule. Using vous. Drive on the right or drive on the left. Rouler à droite. Nice clear T. A gauche. A wheel is une roue. To giggle, laugh, have a joke. 
rigoler. Ré rigoler, it's cute, isn't it? Don't giggle like that addressing vous. Ne rigolez pas comme ça. To joke. To have pleasantries. Plaisanter or blaguer. Don't joke with me addressing tu. Ne plaisante pas avec moi. Ne blague pas avec moi. A joke, the noun, is une plaisanterie or une blague. To tease. What were we throwing? Taquine, tic tacs. Don't tease your brother like that, addressing to. Ne taquine pas ton frère comme ça. To rent. Louer. Let's rent a car this summer in France. Louons une voiture cet été en France. You can even put set it at the end if you like. To guess. To divine. Deviner. Deviner. Not deviner. Deviner. Guess how old he is addressing to. In French you have to say guess what age he has. Because age uses avoir. Devine, de, devine quel âge il a. To cheat. Tricher, think trickery, tricher. Don't cheat, addressing vous. Ne trichez pas. A cheat, if it's a man, is un tricheur. If it's a woman, une tricheuse. To come in, go in. The fancy name enter that nobody uses is entrer. Come in, addressing vous. Entrer. To go back in or to go home. Rentrer. Let's go home. Rentrons. You can add on à la maison. You can add on chez nous. To take advantage of, abuse, cross the line, be unfair, overindulge. Abuser. Abuser de quelque chose. Don't cross the line, Julien. Addressing to. N'abuse pas, Julien. To insist, keep trying, go on and on and on. Oh, stop going on. Insister. Don't go on, guys. N'insistez pas, les gars. To cry. Pleurer, or the slang chialer, it's a bit like blubber. Don't cry, don't blubber, addressing to. Ne pleure pas, ne chiale pas. To feel guilty. Culpabiliser. Don't feel too guilty, addressing vous. Ne culpabilisez pas trop. Guilt. La culpabilité. Guilty, the adjective. Coupable. Boom. Direct object pronouns. Yay, yay, yay. So subject pronouns do the verbs. Direct object pronouns receive the action of the verb. You wouldn't say, do you see I? You say, do you see me? And me is being seen. So me is me or moi. You is te or toi. Him or if it's an object, and it's a masculine thing, because all objects have a gender in French, you would use le. Her or it is la. Remember, she is elle, but her or it is la. Us is nous, which is the same as we. You, vous, doesn't change. And them is le, unlike they, which is il or elle. So what is to look or to look at or to watch? Regardez. Look at me! Remember, in French, there's no atting around. It's an English thing. Regarde-moi. So in the positive command, your pronoun gets hooked on to the verb with a hyphen and becomes, me becomes moi. Only in the positive command. 
the nice thing is it's in the same order as English. Or you could say, regardez-moi, if you're addressing vous. Don't look at me. Now, the direct object pronoun goes back before the verb in the negative command and is me again. Ne me regarde pas. Ne me regardez pas. So, positive command, me becomes moi, hooked on with a hyphen. Negative command, it sits behind the verb as it usually does. To forget, oublier. If you forget an object, you just say oublier the thing. If it's to forget to do something, you need to add on de. Oublier de faire quelque chose. Forget me, addressing to. Oublie moi. Don't forget us, addressing vous. Ne nous oubliez pas. Let's forget him. Oublions-le. Don't forget the cheese. N'oublie pas le fromage. Don't forget to call your uncle, addressing vous. Uncle is the same, but it's an O instead of a U. At the beginning. N'oubliez pas d'appeler votre oncle. And the slang or the term of endearment for uncle is tonton, tonton. So when you forget a noun, it's just oubli plus the noun. But when you forget to do something, an action, you need the de after oublier. N'oubliez pas d'appeler votre oncle. Let's not forget to call your aunt addressing vous. N'oublions pas d'appeler votre tante. And the term of endearment for aunt, or I would say aunt, is tata. Tonton tata. To keep or take care of. Think of a gamekeeper or a zookeeper. Garder. Using vous, keep the change. Garder la monnaie. Keep it. Well, depending on what your it is in French, it would either be garde-le if your object is masculine or garde-la if it's feminine. If you're talking about the change, you'd say garde-la. Addressing vous, gardez-le, gardez-la. Let's keep them. Gardons-les. Nursery or daycare is la garderie. To light, to switch on. If you remember the word for matches in French. Allumer. Les allumettes. Switch on the TV. Addressing to. Allume la télé. So, télé is short for television or ION words are feminine in French. Let's switch on the light. Allumons la lumière. Using vous, light them now. Allumez-les maintenant. Maintenant, maintenant. <laughs> to spoil. Maybe I should have had lots of cakes there. Gâté, like gâteau. Don't spoil her too much, addressing to. Ne la gâte pas trop. To put on, to slip on, to thread. You think of what wire or thread is. It's fil, it's Enfilé. Slip it on quickly, addressing to, and your it is masculine. Enfile-le vite. Nice T there, vite. To park. Your train at the train station. Garé. Park your car in the car park, addressing vous. Now, car park, in French, they've taken an English word and Frenchified it and it doesn't even exist in English. Remember? Parking. It's a bit like camping is a campsite. Garez votre voiture dans le parking. Remember the slang for car? Bagnole. Let's park it here and your it is feminine. Garons la ici or garons la là. <laughs> Don't park it in front of my house anymore. Addressing to and your it is feminine. Number not anymore is the big plus sandwich. 
ne la gare plus devant ma maison. To accompany, go with, walk with, give a lift. Accompagner, gianier, accompagner. So addressing to give her a lift home. Accompagne-la chez elle or à la maison. Because this is used so often, accompagne-la would be enough. Walk with me, addressing vous. Accompagnez-moi. Let's walk them home. Accompagnons-les chez eux or chez elles or if you can't remember all the chez eux, etc., you can just say à la maison. Or you could just say accompagnons-les. To hit, strike, knock at. Frapper. Let's knock on the door. Frappons à la porte. Don't hit him, addressing to. Ne le frappe pas. Don't hit her, addressing to. Ne la frappe pas. To stain. Taché. Don't stain my tablecloth, addressing vous. Tablecloth is feminine. If you think of a napkin, which is a teeny tiny tablecloth for dabbing your mouth, it's une nappe. Ne tachez pas ma nappe. Or imagine having a nap on a tablecloth. Une nappe can also mean a thin layer. To try or to attempt. And we have essayé, but this one is used too. It's the same word. It's tâcher with a little circumflex because it's to task. The circumflex means there used to be an S in the word. So think of task. I'm going to task you with doing this. Try and do it. Using to, try to call your mother today, darling. Tâche d'appeler ta mère ou ta maman aujourd'hui. For a woman, you'd say, ma chérie, mon, or mon chéri for a man. It's your cherished one, your darling, your dearling. To leave somewhere, someone. Quitter, Q-U is a K sound, quitter. Think of quiche. We wouldn't ask for a quiche or a quickie. <laughs> quitter quelque part, quitter quelqu'un. So you've got to leave, partir, when you're just going to leave a place. Or quitter means to leave someone or somewhere. And then you've also got to leave behind or to leave alone, which is laisser. Leave him, using to. Quitte-le. Leave her, using to. Quitte-la. Don't leave me. Addressing to. Ne me quitte pas. Ne me quitte pas. This was an extremely famous song, still famous today, by the Belgian singer Jacques Brel. The grand Jacques Brel, who's very tall. So I've given you the words in French and the translation into English. It's a beautiful song. Né en 1929 en Belgique, il était considéré comme Une des plus grandes stars de la chanson française. So born in 1929 in Belgium, he was considered one of the biggest stars. And they use the word star, but it's always feminine, even if you're talking about a man, of the French song. Dans sa jeunesse, il aimait écrire de longs poèmes. He used to like writing long poems when he was young. Et il a créé une troupe de théâtre avec une bande de copains. And he created a theatre group with a group of friends. C'est Jacques qui écrivait les pièces qui étaient jouées sur scène. It was Jacques that wrote the scripts that were acted. Joué means acted as well as play, that were acted on the stage. Il s'est marié à l'âge de 21 ans et a eu trois filles. He got married at the age of 21 and had three daughters. Il a eu plusieurs aventures. So, aventure in this sense means affairs. À partir de 1952, il a commencé à chanter les chansons qu'il a écrites lui-même. So, from 1952, he started to sing the songs that he wrote himself. Il jouait la chanson avec tout son corps. He acted out the songs with his whole body. 
qui était impressionnant à voir parce qu'il était un homme très grand avec de longs bras et de longues mains. Which was quite something to see because he was a very tall man with long arms and long fingers. Il chantait et tournait dans des films aussi. So he used to sing and he also acted in films as well. Il est mort d'un cancer du poumon à l'âge de 29 ans à Paris en 1978. So he died of lung cancer at the age of 49 in Paris in 1978. Enjoy the song. À la prochaine fois!